Adrian Lamo was a complex and controversial figure. He emerged from the world of hacking, quickly rising to prominence in the early 2000s. Lamo's exploits were legendary. He infiltrated the computer systems of major corporations. These included Microsoft, Yahoo, and the New York Times. His actions thrust him into the media spotlight. This made him both a hero and a villain in the eyes of the public. Lamo's story is a cautionary tale. It highlights the ethical dilemmas of the digital age. He straddled the line between ethical hacking and cybercrime. This made him a fascinating study in contradictions. Lamo's legacy is a complex one. It continues to be debated and dissected by cybersecurity experts today. Adrian Lamo's journey into the world of hacking began in his youth, a time when the internet was still in its infancy. He honed his skills in the digital playgrounds of the early internet, exploring the vast and uncharted territories of cyberspace. Lamo was a self-taught hacker, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a relentless desire to understand the inner workings of computer systems. He relied on his curiosity and a thirst for knowledge to navigate the nascent digital landscape, often spending countless hours immersed in technical books and online resources. He frequented online forums and chat rooms where he could exchange ideas and learn from others. It was in these digital spaces that he connected with like-minded individuals, forming a network of fellow enthusiasts. These connections provided him with the knowledge and tools to further develop his hacking abilities, allowing him to push the boundaries of what was possible. By his late teens, Lamo had gained notoriety within the hacking community, becoming a well-known figure for his daring exploits. He was known for his audacity and his ability to penetrate seemingly impenetrable systems, often leaving security experts baffled. His exploits were not driven by financial gain, but by a deeper motivation. Lamo was motivated by a desire to expose vulnerabilities, believing that uncovering these flaws was crucial for improving security. He believed that by highlighting security flaws, he was performing a public service, helping to make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Lamo's hacking methodology was as unconventional as his lifestyle. He often relied on social engineering techniques. This involved manipulating individuals into divulging sensitive information. He would then use this information to gain access to restricted networks. Lamo was a master of deception. He could seamlessly blend into digital environments. This allowed him to exploit weaknesses in both human and technological systems. His targets were often high-profile corporations and organizations. He saw these entities as symbols of power and authority. By infiltrating their systems, Lamo aimed to challenge their perceived invulnerability. He would often inform companies of their security breaches after the fact. He offered to repair the vulnerabilities he had exploited for a nominal fee. This practice further blurred the lines between ethical hacking and cybercrime. In 2002, Lamo gained national attention for hacking into the internal network of the New York Times. He exploited a vulnerability in the newspaper's LexisNexis account. This gave him access to sensitive information. This included the social security numbers of contributors. Lamo's actions sent shockwaves through the media industry. It raised serious concerns about the security of sensitive information in the digital age. While Lamo argued that his intentions were to expose security flaws, his actions were met with legal repercussions. The New York Times filed a complaint with the FBI. This led to a federal investigation. Lamo was eventually charged with computer-related crimes. He was sentenced to six months of home detention and two years of probation. Section 5, Ethical Hacking, A Necessary Contradiction. Lamo's case ignited a debate about the role of ethical hacking in cybersecurity. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to identify and report vulnerabilities in systems. They operate with the permission of system owners. Their goal is to improve security. Lamo occupied a gray area within the hacking community. He often acted without permission. However, he claimed his intentions were to make the internet a safer place. The debate over Lamo's methods continues today. Some argue that his actions, while illegal, 
forced companies to take cybersecurity more seriously. Others contend that his disregard for the law undermined the work of legitimate security professionals. Regardless of one's stance, Lamo's story underscores the importance of ethical considerations in cybersecurity. Section 6. The Whistleblower and the Hacker. The Chelsea Manning Case. Perhaps the most controversial chapter in Lamo's life was his involvement in the Chelsea Manning case, which drew significant media attention and public scrutiny. In 2010, Chelsea Manning, a US Army intelligence analyst, leaked a vast trove of classified information to WikiLeaks, an organization known for publishing secret documents. This information exposed potential war crimes and human rights abuses, sparking global debates about transparency and government accountability. Manning confided in Lamo about the leaks during online conversations, seeking advice and perhaps validation for her actions. Lamo, believing that Manning's actions posed a significant threat to national security, reported her to the authorities, a decision that would haunt him. Lamo's decision to turn in Manning sparked outrage among privacy advocates and supporters of whistleblowers who saw Manning as a hero. They accused him of betraying a confidence and acting out of self-interest, questioning his true motivations. Lamo defended his actions, arguing that he had a moral obligation to prevent potential harm and protect national security. The Manning case further cemented Lamo's controversial legacy, making him a polarizing figure in the world of hacking and whistleblowing. It left many questioning his motives and his commitment to the principles he claimed to uphold, casting a long shadow over his legacy. Section 7. A Legacy Forged in Controversy Adrian Lamo's legacy is one of complexity and contradiction. He was a gifted hacker who exposed security flaws in some of the world's most powerful institutions. Yet he was also a polarizing figure whose actions often blurred the lines between ethical hacking and cybercrime. Lamo's story is a reminder that the digital world is not a black and white arena. It is a complex landscape where ethical dilemmas abound. Lamo's exploits forced companies and organizations to rethink their approach to cybersecurity. His breaches served as a wake-up call, highlighting the need for stronger security measures and greater awareness of digital vulnerabilities. In this regard, Lamo's legacy is intertwined with the evolution of cybersecurity itself. Section 8. The evolution of cybersecurity in the wake of Lamo. Lamo's actions, along with the rise of high-profile data breaches, have had a profound impact on the field of cybersecurity. Companies and organizations have been forced to invest heavily in security infrastructure and personnel. The demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals has skyrocketed in recent years. Lamo's story also highlights the importance of ethical considerations in cybersecurity. As technology continues to advance at an unprecedented pace, it is crucial that security professionals operate with a strong moral compass. Section 9. Enduring Lessons for the Modern Cybersecurity Professional Adrian Lamo's story offers several important lessons for modern cybersecurity professionals. First, it underscores the importance of continuous learning and adaptation. The digital landscape is constantly evolving. Security professionals must stay ahead of the curve to effectively counter emerging threats. This requires a commitment to ongoing education, training and professional development. Second, Lamo's story highlights the ethical dilemmas inherent in cybersecurity. Security professionals often have access to sensitive information and systems. It is essential that they operate with integrity, transparency and a commitment to ethical principles. Section 10. Conclusion, a legacy marred and misunderstood. Adrian Lamo's legacy remains a subject of debate and discussion within the cybersecurity community. His actions and the motivations behind them are often scrutinized, leading to a wide array of opinions. He was a complex and controversial figure whose life and work continue to intrigue and perplex many. His actions continue to spark both admiration and condemnation, reflecting the duality of his impact on the field. While his methods were often unconventional and at times illegal, there is no denying that Lamo's exploits left an indelible mark on the field of cybersecurity. His ability to navigate complex systems and expose vulnerabilities was both a gift and a curse. 
His story serves as a reminder of the importance of ethical hacking, the need for robust security measures, and the ever-evolving nature of the digital threat landscape. It highlights the thin line between right and wrong in the digital world. Lamo's story, though shrouded in controversy, holds valuable lessons for cybersecurity professionals today. It challenges us to think critically about our actions and their potential repercussions. It underscores the importance of a strong ethical compass, continuous learning, and a deep understanding of the evolving threat landscape. The digital realm is ever-changing, and so must be our approaches to securing it. As we navigate the complexities of the digital age, Lamo's legacy serves as a reminder that the choices we make in the pursuit of security have far-reaching consequences. His life story is a testament to the profound impact one individual can have on the world of cybersecurity.